All right, for this job, all you'll need is a trim removal tool and a number two screwdriver. Not a bad idea to have a couple different kinds of screwdrivers and also not a bad idea to have a shorty. I find the shorty screwdriver handy for installing screws. Today we're going to replace the windlass on the C4 Corvette. It's really simple, there's a plastic push pin at the bottom and two number two screws. Use the trim tool remover of your choice. Just be careful not to damage anything, particularly the fiberglass behind the, uh, the weather stripping. Now use some caution removing these screws. Apply pressure inwards on the screw while you're trying to um, while you're trying to back it out or loosen the screw. This will help keep the bit from slipping. So push in and twist counterclockwise at the same time. If your screws are a little rusty, you can squirt some penetrating oil on them ahead of time and let it sit. And very carefully, just pull it off. The weather stripping does sit in there on the pinch weld. Now to install the new piece, you want to start at the top and slip it into the pinch weld and then just kind of work it up into place. It does have to sit in the channel. It's molded around the pinch weld, so it does have to fit right. I try to start with the middle first. I do not do the plastic push button first. I do that last just in case I have to remove the uh, weather stripping for any reason. I also find it easier to use a stubby screwdriver for starting the screws. I just, I have more control with my hand over the screw driver and the screw. Once it's in, I'll use a longer screwdriver for more leverage. Again, push inward with pressure while you're tightening bottom just simply push it in and there you go a nice clean job the, the part fit perfectly it looks really nice just like it should no problems guys no problems thanks for watching